Do you recognize what's in that can? Yes, it's some sour cream. It smells yeah, you can, awful. You can smell it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, notice that I have a clip attached to the outside of the can. Yeah. And then going around here to the meter. And the other wire from the meter goes over here to a piece of copper. Okay. okay. So would you please take the copper and plunge it into the middle of the sauerkraut. Okay. And watch what happens to the meter. It goes up a bit. Yes. In other words, we're generating an electric current yeah. with the sauerkraut. Now Why the, with the sauerkraut? Well, the reason you can do that is what, in order to make a wet cell like this, you need two dissimilar metals and an active chemical in between. Right now, the, the copper and the, and the side of the can are not, are not dissimilar enough. <laughs> in fact, here is a piece of zinc. Okay. Now put that in the, in the place of the can and watch what happens to the meter. Oh, there it's going See, up. See, now it's going up higher and higher. Well, it depends on how far you put in the, the, the pieces of metal because oh, they okay. need more surface to work on it. Yes. Yeah. Well, some people are surprised to, to realize that you can make a uh, battery out of sauerkraut, but after all, it's an acid, right? You yeah. recognize it. Like in a car battery, there's acid. Yes, acid. in fact, there's a series of plates with acids in between. Yeah. So wash off those two plates now. Okay. I'll get rid of that, and you put the two plates here in this beaker. Okay. Okay. What's the reading on the meter? Zero. Nothing. Okay. Now, what do we need in order to make a battery again? An active chemical. An active chemical. Okay. This time, we're going to put that in. That looks like bleach. You think it is? Here, take a whiff. Maybe. Yeah, it smells like chlorine. Why did you do it like that? Well, if I put it up to my nose, my nose might get irritated. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's the way chemists, they check the odor or something by doing like that and taking it with. Okay, I'll hold the two plates. You pour the bleach into the beaker and watch what happens to the meter. Okay. It goes up. Well, how come? Because yeah. bleach keep is going, on Keep base. going, keep going, keep going. Go all the way to the end. Okay, that's good, fine. Bleach now, what is was a your base, question? though. Mm -hmm. How come? Bleach is a base. Yes, but m most people think that in order to make a battery, you need an acid, and you don't really need one. All you need is an active chemical. And in this case, it's a base, and there are some bases that are very active. In fact, one is called lye that's so active. It's used for oven cleaners and things like that because it, it'll eat right through your skin. It's Whoa. very active. So the, the um, chemical in uh, bleach is active enough with two dissimilar metals to pr produce a very good wet cell. In fact, it's gone yeah. right, off, it's gone right off the scale, yeah. isn't it? In fact, we can control it by varying uh -huh. it like that. Anyway, now when somebody says, how do you make a wet cell to generate electricity, what are you gonna say? You need two dissimilar metals and an active chemical. Which can be an acid? Acid or a base. Right. 